Hello and welcome back to Calico Builds. Uh, today we are still in the boat from last episode trying to get our guy back. Um, hopefully in this episode we finally manage to do it. If by the end of this episode we don't, um, I will skip ahead to when the villager is either home or we've died and lost him. Um, leave a comment down to below about how you feel about this great boat journey. It's been a little bit silly and taking a lot longer than I thought it would, but at least it's a, a big project, rowing a villager all the way home. Uh, I, in between episodes, I have completely lost which direction we're heading, which is kind of sad. I think once we get to the ocean we can just curve around the coast, and we're on the same basic continent, so it shouldn't be too hard. Although we could get out here, explore the temple, which I think I'm being skipped. Just, just to stay safe. Just to stay safe. I, I don't want to. I don't want to lose the villager. Spend three, maybe four episodes trying to get them back, and they just die or we lose them because I made a silly mistake. But yeah, back on the boat journey. Uh, I'm. I don't want to take any more rivers, even if it is by another village. Just keep keep guiding around the coast. If we see anything really cool, we'll have to stop there. We can't just ignore everything. It has to spend twenty minutes boating. I want to do something fun this episode. Not that just boating around, having a look at the sights, isn't fun. It's always nice to just take in the view, but something a little bit more interesting for you guys at home. What's that? That's a river. Skip it. My nose is really itchy today and I have no clue why. Thing, have a check in this cave. Won't get too close because that would be bad. Bye bye cave. <laughs> Just destroy a cave like that. Or at least the front of it. Floating sand is always fun to mess about with. You used to get like an entire desert's worth of it because you'd get like a, like, back in the old days of Minecraft, um, you'd have the, um, you'd have the desert spawn, but they didn't usually spawn sandstone underneath the sand that much, so you'd just get these huge floating swaths of sand, which w was very cool, but at the same time annoying, and also, um, we found a water temple. Do we really need the cartographer? I'm in no shape to tackle the water temple yet, that'd be after the nether, most likely. So we've at least got some gear and XP for enchanting. I have a vague idea of where I want, what I want to do in these episodes. I think the next few was going to be getting the villager back, setting up a little shack for them. Um, not going down any more rivers. Um, but yeah, setting up a shack for the villager, mining a bit, getting some more iron, maybe some diamonds, and um, just getting up the gear and heading, trying to find a stronghold, build our base up a little bit more, just the normal Minecraft things. Um, as always, you can leave comments and suggestions down below, and I'll try and read them all. I will read them all, there's going to be like two. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll read them all and um, try and do them when, by the time the next recording session comes around. If there's anything you want to see built, I'll I'll build it. If there's any kind of challenges you want me to do, then I'm fine with doing them. I'm filming this for you guys. Why is there a car? Sorry about the car, it's 
I'm recording really late, and I didn't think there'd be any traffic outside. I could close my door, but, um, problem with that is the room would get, to, like, swelteringly hot. Which is never a fun time for recording and just being overheated all the time. Anyways, it, it looks like we are coming round the other entry of the island and we just need to follow this round and we should get to, um, we should get to the, get to base. I forgot what that was called for a second. Though. Just being squid, and desert, and acacia to look at. Oh, pumpkins. I think we actually have a pumpkin at home, I need to plant that. I don't want to take any rivers. Once we see Mesa Byron, then I'll take a river, but apart from that, I think I'll skip them. Just stay safe, I don't want to get stuck in a river with enemies all about and for this guy to die. We spent so long trying to get them, it'd be, it'd be really bad if they just died. I've probably said that, but... Um... Could collect sugar cane. But we've, we've got some growing at home. We don't want to destroy the natural habitat. When we can just grow our own and destroy our local natural habitat. Hmm. You should always try and pres uh, preserve environment, the environment, because it's environment, it's where we live, but um, in games it doesn't matter too much. As I've said before on the whole kind of games versus reality thing. Do whatever you want in games, just don't replicate it in real life. Which is probably the best advice you can have with video games. And there's stuff like GTA 5 where you can just run around and just blow things up, shoot things, and just get away with it scot-free most of the time. Don't replicate that in real life, please. There's enough violence in the world without game-fueled violence. And there's a lot of people with, um, a lot of people who blame video games for- oh! Jungle. That's cool. I think there's a temple just there as well. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people who blame video games for violence, and I just think it's kind of silly. Um, wait for the car. Vid video games don't cause violence, apart from against the video games themselves when they get annoying, but um, yeah, video, video games don't cause violence. They just inspire violent people to have more ways of doing what they want. Which they would have done anyway, just in a different method. People who try and just ban video games for being too violent are just kind of laughable. Like, look in the medieval ages, there's a lot more violence back then, but <laughs> there weren't vi violent video games or comics. I guess there's, like, stories and folklore. But... Yeah. I wonder if I'm getting too political already. It's like episode 5 or 6. I'm already talking about video game politics. But I guess this is kind of a video game channel. And um, there's not much else to actually talk about while we're just floating in a boat. Like, I did not expect this to be here. But I, guess, I guess we're just exploring for future episodes. We collected some cocoa beans, but um, if we ever need, like, jungle wood or need... I guess there's melons in here somewhere. It's always good to just know what's about. Oh, no. I did say if we, by the end of this episode that... Um, I don't get this guy back. I might just skip ahead to when we're in base and have him, but I think it might be a good idea to just not bring them back. Hmm. 
decisions. Oh, nice. Dark forest. We are at least getting some exploring done. Oh, it's a pine forest, not a dark forest. But, um, this is a good screenshot trick. I guess I don't even need a screenshot, I can just go back in the footage. We may as well screenshot so I can check it, just at ease. Uh, just sailing into the sunset. No, my nose is still really itchy for some reason. Yeah. Huh. Dun, dun. Huh. Nice view. Maybe I should move because the mesa is just kind huh. of out of the way of everything. But I guess that's only, that is only just because I've explored in like huh. one direction. I should probably explore like past huh. the birch and to the other place, but there's so many cool places this way I've explored. Mm. Oh, I heard a zombie. Mm. And we need to go around this way. I'm not sure if we'll ever get home. Maybe the, um... Mm. Oh no, that's another water temple. Why do I have you, guy? Mm. I got you for your maps, but there's water temples everywhere. Any guardians about it? But I guess there's no squid for them to kill. Oh, there they are. I hope we're not being attacked. Nope. Oh yeah, this is my skin by the way. You've probably seen, but made it myself and I like it. Oh, <clears throat> desert. Oh, another desert village. That's a promising sign. Getting back into warm territory. That is a cool place. Another floating bit of land. Uh, so we're probably about halfway through the episode right now. I still haven't gotten the person back. We spent two episodes just boating about. I think I will have to um, have have to do this one thing in between episodes. Just get get this person back because I don't want to just have several episodes of me talking about nothing or boating of grounds. I mean, we're seeing very nice kind of terrain, but you probably want to see me actually do some building and mining and crafting, like the game is called. Hunger zombie, enderman, spider. Water, sand. It's been our view for the last 13 minutes. Well, like, we have seen temples and stuff which are very good. I mean, a lot of squid. Just too many squid. Too many squid, too many squid. Too many squid, too many squid. I wonder how old that sketch is now. There's a lot of things like I think about and I'm like, oh yeah, that was awesome. Like that came out last year, and then I realize GTA V came out in 2013. Huh. What are you going to do? The time just goes by so fast huh. as you get older. I don't know. I can't really say that with how young I am, but it still feels it. Like, I remember when like the summer used to take forever. And now it's already August. Oh, that's a cool hill. I was about to point to it, but you can't see my finger and my screen in relation to each other. Um. Are we ever going to get back home? I don't want to end the episode just still boating about like a fool. 
This might have to be a secret to the deleted episode. I guess you'll probably know if it is or not. Because you'd be watching this episode. I shouldn't have gone down this river. But it might be our saviour. I didn't remember. Oh, money. Yeah, it might be our saviour, but also might be a curse. There's another village. And some melons. I don't want to get out for the melons because we're in dangerous territory. Night time. Oh, damn it. Mine through this. Okay, no. That's a dead end. Back into the sea. And off we go on another adventure. I really hope we get home soon. I don't I don't want this episode to be entirely wasted on just boating. I guess the last episode was as well, but I had more to talk about. <laughs> Um, hmm. talked about what that means. I guess we'll walk around the water, but um, Minecraft's water physics have always kind of been lacking for me. I mean, it, I kind of it makes sense because of the scale of this, because trying to physics all that water, it it wouldn't be good. Just. Say there's a wave, there's waves, and you had to animate all that for some reason. It, it wouldn't be fun. But um, games like Terraria and the other one, which is basically Space Terraria, but not made by the same people. Which one was it called? Starbound. It might be Starbound, but you probably know the game we're talking about, Terraria and. Oh, uh -huh. damn. That is a cool mountain. Huh. But yeah, the water physics and that is a cool mountain. I want to move here now. Huh. Damn. Um, getting distracted. Terraria and Starbound, the kind huh. of games like that. Um, or at least those two games have like really nice water physics huh. and I always love just playing about with them. That's my favourite thing to do in those games, just build a water tower and flood places. It's a weird mountain. So yeah, it'd be nice if Minecraft could do that, but at the same time it'd really suck if Minecraft did that. Just from like a graphics, not graphics, processing standpoint. It'd be so bad for like everyone's system, and Minecraft is already kind of famous for just destroying computers. So, um, it's good for the 2D games where there's limited space for you to mess about with. I think we have to go back out to sea. <sighs> Yeah, I think I think I will end this episode in a little while, and then just just take this guy home off screen, just to save you a little bit of the pain. Because this is taking forever. It's a fly. I guess there's open window and a light. It's going to attract moths and things. Hmm. Still not much around here, just boating. We've gone like closer to 
to home, I think, biome-wise, but it might be very inland and no actual connecting rivers to the sea. Or to a different sea it might be connected. But I guess we'll see which sea leads to the base. I'm on to the more alliteration. Uh, I think that's a, that's a river there. Pointed to my screen. You cannot see me pointing to my screen. Boat drifting. Okay. Dodgy drift. Dun 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 Ah. And it was stuck again. Wait, you can craft podsel? Is that hard in the dirt or something? See, the recipe book is very useful because it, it shows you recipes I didn't even know existed. Ah, that's a dead end. So I think um, that should be the end of today's episode. Being stuck in a river with this map man. I'm, 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 okay, so I'm going to go off camera, get this guy home, and film the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this kind of messy and not very useful, uh, not very useful episode. But hopefully next episode I'll get a lot more done. Hope you enjoyed, and see you again.